Hey guys, it's Ben. Uh, welcome back to Super Mario Galaxy Air. Galaxy Air. In the last part, we did quite a fair amount of stuff. I think we knocked off two purple coin missions? Or was it just one? It's either of them. Uh, we also got like seven more stars, which was pretty good. Uh, there's a one up there if you really want to get it. Uh, I also apparently looked it up. It's not 2,000. Uh, star bits for the Hungry Limer. It's only 1600, so I was like, oh yeah, that's awesome, because like I'm nearly there. We're gonna knock off the third star of the Deep Dark Galaxy now. Um, but yeah, considering it's. I'm only gonna need about 380 something. Guppy on the underground, like 380 something star bits before that's all the star bits we need, and considering we still got a good 20. So stars left, 23 stars before we need that one. Then yeah, we've got oh, 22 because gotta have Bowser at the end. Uh, so anyway, yeah, I believe this one you don't actually have to go up and get the fire flower. There's a nice bed here. That's not a bed. Yes, it is. It's a table. Jeez. So I believe you don't want to go up this time, mainly because... <laughs> See, they've got that ledge there. Why would you not shortcut there? Anyway, this one is actually rather quick. It's only just this down area, I believe. It's eels though, though. Though, though. Two of those. Two of those. Jeez. I cannot speak. But there's Guppy. A shell somewhere. There's a shell. I was trying to pick it up with Star Bit Cursor. Anyway, I'm gonna grab a coin because obviously that eel's not gonna do anything. Okay, let's let's talk to Guppy. What do I? Oh, I gotta go through the rings first. Hi, Guppy. Hi. Oh, you know what, gang? You gotta be kidding me. You want to run me out of this lake? You gotta go through my rings. I guess not. I guess I'm just gonna have to swim it. Oh, that's okay. There's only just mines. Hello, my turtle. Hello. Oh, can't do the voice. He's like, hello. There you go. Get the shell. Now I'll actually catch up. Bloopers. Ah. Hate bloopers. I'm okay with squid, it's just like bloopers, they're the most annoying things. Oh crap, I'm gonna go so fast. Ah! Oh crap. Oh, I apparently went through there. Keep going, keep going! Where'd he go? Oh, he went through there. Alright, well. Best thing. Oh, crap. Oh, for a second I thought I botched it up. Huh. He's like, oh. And that was it. So that's Deep Dark Galaxy, besides the comet, which I believe it's a Daredevil comet. And if it's a Daredevil comet, then it's either a very tricky section or it's a boss. And considering how tricky the sections were in the stage, I bet you it's a boss. Yeah. And guess which boss it is. Yeah. So, I, so how many stop it? So it was 367 we gotta get until we can do the thing up. And, yeah, there's the comet. And we also got a hidden star. Crap, I have no clue where the hidden star is. That's okay, we'll figure it out. Eventually. Ghost ship Daredevil Run. 
Now, considering I did get hit once in this, then we've got something to worry about. I believe there's also a comet for the next boss in the next galaxy. Uh, I believe that's uh, a speedy comet, actually. You gotta just fight the boss in a time limit. This one's a daredevil, so you gotta be pretty careful with this one. So yeah, this is this is honestly the last time we're fighting Camilla. In fact, this is the last time we're fighting any boss that you see. Oh, crap! Crap! Could I not pick that up? Okay, come on, line it up. Boom! There you go. Got her in the face. Alright, where are you at? There you at. I'm gonna hit you in the face. How'd you like that? No, you didn't. Now you're gonna go up to the top. Now, I'm gonna have to take out those Magic Coopers, because they were the big pain for me, because that would just make more fireballs than needed. I, just, <laughs> I was just going, oh, they're gonna hit me. Crap, we made the shell down there. Oh, crap. Crap. Dang it. Dang it, Steve. I'll try again. Uh, I hate dying on the comet. I believe this is actually the last dead of a comet, so... We'll be quite thankful. Yes, we've done Boulder, guys. I just want to note that in case you haven't been paying attention. We did defeat Boulder, guys. Dead will run straight away, actually. Awesome. All right, come on, shell me up. Shell shock. Boom! In the face. Got some star bits while you're at it. All right, come on. Boom! And now I'm down there. Consistency is fun. This music's definitely got my attention. Alright, I gotta take out those magic movies. Or I can just try and hit it with the shell. Oh crap, I missed. Alright, I'll take out one of those magic movies. Alright. Alright, took out the magic Coopers. Will she make more magic Coopers? No, she'll make the shell. She'll make more when I hit her. Alright. Ah. See, the thing is that she comes, like, right up to you. And then she makes, like, three fireballs. So you're like, ah. Alright, come on. Give me, give me the shell. Alright. Warp somewhere nice. Got her! Boom! Headshot! <laughs> we totally did not see this last part! So that's the problem with Daredevil comments though, is that especially in this stage, you know, after pretty much getting most of the comments, although we still got quite a few purple coins left. Quite a few purple coins, but... See, I, I completely forgot where the hidden star was. Oh, crap. I completely have no clue where the hidden star was in Deep Dark, so I'll look that up a little bit later. But for now, we're going to head off to the next galaxy, which you only need 48 to get into. Dreadnought, I actually like Dreadnought a lot, because it's basically the hardest galaxy. Melty Molten's just hard because it's a lava galaxy and you can't fall down, really. But if you're good at not falling down, then it's not that tough. Dreadnought is the real deal when it comes to dodging obstacles because it's got lots of obstacles. It's also basically Balrog. <laughs> it's a lot like Balrog, but... In fact, you, you would... You'd probably kind of confuse it a little bit with Balrog, because it's quite similar. They both have the same music. And they both actually kind of have the similar deal, that big ship in the middle. Except this one's made out of all... 
piping and stuff, and it's pretty awesome when you get to some things. I wonder if I've got to kill all the enemies. Why am I not? Ah, freaking! Oh, come on, I spam that one. Why am I running out? Nope. There you go. Alright. Had to subject myself to getting coins again. Uh, can't sequence break that. Nah. Uh, I don't feel like getting stoppage from that. Nope. I do not. So anyway, I like this. I like this inside section. Despite the fact I think I'll rock this little thing. There you go. Except I want to get onto the other side. Life shroom's handy, you know, but we'll get onto the other side. Because that's where the next bit of the stage is. Oh crap. <laughs> yeah. Go, Charlie! Move! Jeez, this stage is all about waiting for the machinery to move. Alright, all good. Now you just gotta dodge the cannons! Oh gosh, and dodge that. Don't jump into that. I like how it's like dodge an obstacle and then you've got to dodge it the other way, you know? I understand that I just got hit, but that's okay because I'm just gonna jump that. And then I'm okay to just jump right back into it. <laughs> I don't care! I'll do whatever I want! It's actually pretty tricky. See that? Like, that's the obstacle course that you'd expect from the last galaxy, but it's the second one. Still. Anyway, you're supposed to bounce off the green guys. Wait, green? Wait, these tops? Oh no. Now don't, don't try and kill them. You don't need to kill them. But you need to get up anyway. Also, the thing always keep falling down, so I thought I'd like to note that. Ah, uh, this, this is something I like. You know, you're expected to jump, but you can actually stand on it, so that's okay. Now, I believe, yeah, this is the ending section. Oh, you gotta get star chips. Oh, and these things are out to kill you. That's why you gotta sling yourself. Oh. Jeez, what was I thinking star chips? Maybe it was something else later. So, so anyway, you see that there's water that you gotta... Water that you gotta break, so you're thinking, okay, I gotta try and get a bomb Or a bullet bill. But it'd probably be a bomb, bomb considering that there were bombs earlier. So you're like, okay, so I'll hunt around the area for bomb bombs, because that's the logic that you've learned. You Maybe wondering what the heck that is, and that is a good question I have. Oh, bullet bill, okay. That works. Because that'll be more annoying when you have to deal with the bombers. Is there a name for the. Are you kidding me? You did. What? Why'd you jump over it? Alright, come on. Oh crap, Goomba's gonna get in the- oh, no, he didn't get in the way. Okay. There you go. Ah! Uh, and then the Bower of Music comes back. And then these things... Is that going on? Anyway, that platform there, that is... The battery, that is a low battery. No, uh, that platform there is where you gotta go. See, last part I was talking about how, um, how the camera rotates itself, so it's facing, so you're facing up, and it does that in this, oh crap! Okay, we're waiting a little bit. Just don't want to fall off. Because if you fall off, then you gotta climb all the way back up, but you don't want to climb all the way back up, because that'll just take way too much of your time. But yeah, see, this, this is the obstacle course, you know? This is what I was, this is the best challenge of the game. It's probably the hardest galaxy of the game. Okay, so we got three stars in 15 minutes, or 14 in a little bit, but I think we're doing good. I think we're doing quite good.
we'll probably just knock off the rest of Dreadnought, and possibly we'll get the... Oh, wait, no. We already did the comets for Deep Dark. We've almost got enough star bits for the outside galaxy, so I may as well... See, the thing is, though, that we don't really need to go into any outside galaxies. I may as well knock off Dreadnought and then maybe do the... The, um... Knock off the three main Dreadnought stars and then head off to the outside star. Dreadnought's Colossal Cannons. Oh, joy. Okay. Screw you. No. <laughs> We're not doing this. Clink, clank, clink. Crap. Why did I try and jump that from that far? Jeez. I'm a smart. It even s slides back. Yay. Great use of time. See, I like this star a lot as well, because it's, again, obstacle course. Look at all these chain chomps coming on the chain. Look at all these chomps coming down the slope. Oh, and these spinning thingos. They just did quite a fair bit in 3D land, didn't they? That was one thing with 3D land, is that it was a little bit of a mashup of ideas. You know, it was a lot of just... What if Mario Galaxy had 2D platforming? And I understand they were going, oh, it's a 2D Mario game that plays like... Sorry, it's a 3D Mario game that plays like 2D Mario. I mean, like, especially after the Galaxy games, I don't think that people were really asking for a 2D Mario game, even with the good news of Mario Brothers. So it was kind of weird. It was a good game. It was a very good game, but some of the level design was a bit weird, and... I think just the main intentions of the game, you know, a 2D Mario game that's actually 3D, that's a kind of a weird concept. It's good though for a differently designed game, and those weird guys that spit out the coconuts are going to come out of those things, aren't they? We're going to need to hit them while on a moving platform. Boom, hit them both at the same time. What now, hater? Hater tater. No, I don't want you. Alright, well I know if I'm gonna die, but I'm on this planet, so I'm okay. Do do Oh wait, this bit. The moving platform bit where you gotta dodge everything bit. That bit. You know that bit? Yeah, that bit. Yeah. I know what you mean. Aha, corn. Now the trick is not to get hit by the cannonballs. The trick is to not get hit. You can stand on this. Or actually, you have to stand on this. And now we're suddenly upside down. See, the challenge is now thinking of it upside down, although technically it's just the same thing, it's just upside down. Okay. We got 12 minutes. Doing pretty good. <laughs> oh, wait, wait. That gun is gonna be like, oh no. Oh! oh! Oh, you've got to be kidding. Are you kidding me? No, you're not kidding me. Dang it. Oh, I'm, all, I'm back at the swamp. Wow. We. This is a section where, since you can move forward and back, it's kind of not handy being forward and back. Yeah, you had to jump up there. See, vertical thinking is a bit weird because one, your view is a little bit is a little bit messed up because you can't see as wide. Also, because you have to think up. Like if it's upside down, then you're just like, okay, well, just down is down. That's about it. Oh gosh, lots of cannibals. I don't want to get hit by them. There we go. Now here's the last bit. Oh, I remember that's the hidden... Is that the hidden star, or is that just the regular star? I swear, the, the hidden star was somewhere here. Alright. Oh. 
See, I honestly thought that this stuff actually went on longer and there was a hidden star somewhere. Now, I can't remember this hidden star, but we'll be able to find out sometime, won't we? Oh. Yeah. yeah, Mario agrees. Anyway, we've got 20 stars left, which is pretty awesome. Um, now, the worst part is that I'm knocking off a lot of these, uh... A lot of these Garden Galaxy stars. And I'm not actually going back for Purple Comet thing, I was previous galaxies. That's okay. Revenge of the Topman tribe? Oh no! <laughs> you know what the worst part is as well? Guess what the comet involves? Yeah. According to the Mario Wiki, this this is the most overdone boss. Which is kind of weird, because he's actually one of the easiest bosses. Yeah, I remember when these guys just kind of showed up for a second there in the previous star? Yeah. In the first time. Oh, you gotta you gotta hit these guys in there, the red ones, so you gotta you gotta hit them in. There you go, got him. You gotta get Ouch. Where do you at? Yeah. Oh. There you go, got him. Where's the third one? Oh, it's just two of them. Okay. What are you gonna say? Thank you! In return, let me create a shortcut, which is the same way as going normally. Yeah, the switch activates the star chips. Now, I like this, it's like, oh, what do you do? Like, you have to know. Actually, no, you can just gotta bounce off the guy. Now, you gotta know how to operate the people. Eee. Can we do. Oh, dang, I was gonna say, can we do this without needing the. Okay, so anyway, I like this bit. Music's back. It's a rocket! But most importantly, it's a suicide trap. So you're, having to, you're actually having to dodge everything and not get hit like that. Ow. Let's go back for the other one! Now, if you've never seen someone get hit so many times in a row, then... Also, you fall back. It's kind of a weird note. Alright. Alright. We're good. Alright. Gotta use momentum. Rocket yourself towards the star. Okay. We're off that place. That's Michael Bay. No, we can't Michael Bay. This is a kind of interesting bit. It looks quite debuggy, so to speak. Like, the textures? I don't know. Like, why would they document how... F why would they mark how far the thing goes? go? Oh, well. How did you throw it up?! How did he throw it up? He threw up! Alright. Throwing a straightforward point. I have the weird thought that one of these may have a secret. Like, I actually honestly do feel that. Oh, crap. Jeez, I'm on a death wish. Oh, there's another. Well, I'm gonna probably die. Considering I'm not picking up that life stream right, out, right away. Yeah, I know my battery is low, you don't have to keep telling me. You probably do, because you don't want it to run out. Okay, got it. Yep, got it. Dang it! I, I, I want to know what's in that chest. I honestly do. I don't care if, it, if I'm going to run out of time. I'm assuming that the Hungry Limba isn't going to take up that much time. Aha! Arrow. It's like a piranha plant. Why don't I just deal with one? Dealing with one is good. 
Ah. Oh. So, you know, I, I really did think that there was like a hungry room in one of them. I don't know why. Well, that was a waste of my time. Let's actually fight the top man himself. I know you're supposed to kill them, but... Who cares? We're reusing elements. Holy crap, I've never seen this boss before. Well, now there's only sections. There are also red guys. He hits the thing himself. See, I don't understand why he's so difficult. He's just like jump, hit, jump and hit. Jump and hit man. He's a hit man. Because he takes the hits. Yahoo! Here to call. <laughs> okay. Alright, so we're past the hundred mark, which is very good. Really good. Da -da 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 -da. So we got 18 stars left. No, we got 19 because we've got to remember we got to fight Bowser again. Yeah, remember that? Uh, are they gonna go for the comet? Oh, they'll go for the purple coin comet. Okay. Now, I think the purple coin comet's actually pretty good because it'll knock off the thingo. The purple comet. The bad. The purple comet. Purple comet. Purple comet. Purple comet. Purple, purple, purple. Anyway, so this one involves the same kind of dealio here, except this one I believe there's also 100 again. So you gotta make sure you don't miss any, considering this one's more of an obstacle course. Potentially you get a life stream straight away. Oh, on this one, yeah, you can fall off, so... <laughs> That's the challenge. Yeah. Purple coins. See, I think this is actually the last mission where the purple coins are actually timed, really. I think I've actually done all the timed purple coin missions, so to speak. About five of them out of the ten or something. Maybe it's six. I think six of them, maybe. Thankfully, you get to stop here. So then you gotta keep going again. No. Oh, there's some on top. Jerk faces. Oh, gosh. Jerk faces, put them on top. How dare the jerk faces. Then you gotta grab that and then, oh. Yeah, you thought I was gonna hit it. Nah. See, now you gotta think sideways, jeez. I can't think sideways. Mainly because I'm kind of unsure of my location in the three world. Okay, so now we're back on top, which is good. Oh. Alright, doing good. That's my cue to suck, apparently. That sounds pretty bad, my cue to suck. Anyway, you gotta jump on that guy over there. Maybe wondering where the last coin is. Good question. I have no freaking clue. Whoa! I don't care if I die. I need. I need to get that. Oh, that. That's the get back to the beginning one, or is that? Oh wait, one of them is to get back to the beginning one. Got it. Jeez, I had me worried there for a second. You did it! Yes! <laughs> Jeez, battery. Jeez, battery. Okay, so I know we've got one minute left. I may as well feed the... I was gonna do the Hungry Luma, dang it. We'll do the Hungry Luma after. Like, quite a fair bit later. But I may as well go ahead and feed him now. Because I, I don't want to start another star straight away. We've got six stars. I'm... Happy there. Uh, so anyway, the Hungry Loomer is actually on the gate. Not actually outside the dome itself. Oh, 
1200? Ugh. I thought it was 1600. Transform! I swear it was 1600. Oh well. So we'll save that for next time because. Because the beep is going off. I'll see you kids next time. Did I just call it the beeper? <laughs>